How's it going? This is PB, and I'm going to show you how to change your console ID using CCAPI. Um, I'm going to assume that you know how to run the package end of it and install it into the PS3. Well, this is going to be the other end of it when you install it and open it here on your PC. Okay, um, you're going to go into your network settings because what you're going to need to add the console into the CCAP, you're going to need to make a name for it and then your IP address. And I always name uh, my personal uh, PS3, which I'm redoing just to, for this demonstration, um, poor boy. That way I know it's my PS3 when I connect to it. And uh, you enter, you go into um, network setting, or settings and go go down into uh, system information and you can find out what the IP address is for your PlayStation. And um, you add that IP address right here, which mine is uh, 192.168.254.1.1. And then you press OK and it adds it right here. And then uh, all you gotta do is to be on. You have to be have your PS3 on and it be be at least to the XMB. But you can be anywhere once you pass the XMB load up. You can be anywhere and still connect. So um, you right click, hit connect, and it'll say connected. And uh, you can refresh and it'll give you the temperatures of your. Um, CPU and your GPU. <clears throat> and, uh, alright, to change the console ID, it's real simple. Just go over to your console IDs right here. And you can open it up. And I have, have a set here. And just so you know, um, it is not legit. You're welcome to, uh, <laughs> to try it. But, anyways, um, you right click on it. And you copy it, and this is your IDPS, so it's going to go in the top one, which is right here, IDPS, and your PSID goes in the bottom one. So uh, you just copy and paste it in here. You do the PSID, and you're going to put it in the bottom one, and you're going to set to boot on both of those. So you just click that. And you should see a uh, thing go across your screen that says it's set. And you do this one, it'll do the same thing. It'll say that it's set to the PSID. Um, and that is it. That's all it takes to change it. When you set it to boot, it's going to boot this CID and this PSID until you change it. If you hit set current, it'll set it for now. But as soon as you reboot your PS3, it's going to go back to whatever it was before that so just so you know if you want it to stay and not have to mess with it every time you start your PS3 you're gonna use the set boot and that's it um, I hope this helped and uh, makes it a little easier for you guys